God is a good God. Yeah, he's all the time. Start off. You start off with what he did in giving you the title of my message. So, so you all can see how awesome the Holy Spirit is. And I want y'all to know, Aubrey and I has not talked about what he was going to talk about and then what I was going to talk about. We don't do that here. I don't, you know, I, uh, most of the time, as of like this morning, I usually put my message together Sunday morning. God gives it to me and I put it together. Amen. We haven't talked that. So, the title of my message is The Visitor or Seeker. Which are you? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Visitor or seeker, which are you? Uh, we're going to be talking about visitors and seekers and how are they different and which are you? Amen? Amen. Visitor or seeker. But I want to start off with some scripture that I, I, I looked up on uh, uh, seeking God, you know, the seeker of the, the, the seeker. Uh, we're going to start out with the first one in Jeremiah. If I get to the right page. Of the notes. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. Thirteen being the verse that I was looking for. But you know, most of the time, you, you, you find one verse, but if you'll read around a little bit, you'll find that it's going to make more sense if you read before and after. You know, so we're going to start out in 11 in this scripture. And uh, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Amen. And then I want to go on to 2 Chronicles 16, 11. Got several scriptures here I'm gonna read right, you know, off at first. Like Pastor Katie said, well, it's okay to read the Bible in the church. It is. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 16. I'm gonna start in verse 8 and read through verse 11. How many of you heard this song? Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wondrous acts, wonderful acts. Give in his give in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Second Chronicles? First Chronicles, I'm sorry. Did I say second? Yes, well, I know y'all paying attention. <laughs> second Chronicles. First Chronicles. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Like I said, that's why y'all was all looking at me like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> 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 like he lost. <laughs> sing to him, sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Give him his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let the Lord uh, look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. And then let's go to Hosea 10, 12. <clears throat> 
Sow for yourselves righteousness. Reap the fruit of unfailing love. And break up your, plow, your unplowed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until He comes and showers righteousness on you. And uh, that's the NIV version. And then the King James is so with a view to righteousness, reap in accordance with kindness, break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until He comes to rain righteousness on you. I kind of like that version there better. Uh, and then we're going to go to Proverbs 8.17. It says, I love those who love me, and those who seek me with diligence, yet seek me diligently, will find me. Praise God. Talking about being a seeker or a visitor. And the difference therein. Let's go to Psalms chapter 63. We're going to start out with verse 1 and go to verse 5. Psalms 
verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him. Fear the Lord, you His saints. For those who fear Him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Then flip right over to verse to chapter 37. Two pages over. And uh, we're going to start in verse 3 and read through verse 7. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do, do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your case like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Lord, I just thank you today that you have anointed me to preach your word. Father, I thank you that, that as I open my mouth, you have promised that you would fill my mouth with your word. And I stand in faith every Sunday before you and trust you to do that. I thank you, Father, that you will bring the word forth that you want your children to hear today. And I ask you for utterance to speak your word. And I thank you and ask you <clears throat> to open the ears of the church that they would hear what the Spirit would say to the church today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Visitor or seeker, which are you? I want to be a seeker. Amen. The Word says in Jeremiah, I mean, uh, <coughs> Hebrews 11.6, that they uh, uh, that that let me go over there and read. I'm messing it all up. Hebrews eleven six. <clears throat> and without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He is and that he is he rewards those who earnestly who diligently seek him we're talking about being a visitor or a seeker we're talking about seeking god diligently we're talking about the the rewards of being a diligent seeker amen and and that's what i want to bring out today isaiah 4031 says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord, they that seek the Lord diligently, they that breathe His name out everywhere they go, they that are looking for Him around every corner, they that take Him to the gas station. Yeah. They that get up in the morning thinking of God, thinking of Him. They that go to bed at night when they lay down and when they rise, He's on their mind. Amen. They shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. That's a diligent secret. They that diligently seek the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 13. We read it a while ago. Seek me and you shall find me, and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. What is seeking God with all your heart? Yeah. 
You know, I remember when I met her that Saturday night 37 years ago, I remember looking out that door and seeing this young lady with hair down to here that I just love. Beautiful hair. And I began a seeking. I began to seek her out. Amen. And, and, and even in the condition that I was in, which was not good, I, I, you know, but I, I said, that's something that I need to be pursuing right there. Amen? Amen. And I got in hot pursuit of it. Amen? <laughs> I'm talking about seeking God. Amen? I'm talking about this seeking God with all our heart. When a young man sees a girl and it twitters in his heart and his heart goes boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and he, for he forgets all about what he's doing. You know? It's kind of like that deer in the woods. Certain times of the year the does begin to do what they do and that deer gets its head in the wind and and you know they got a hunter over here with a 30 out 6 rifle and that deer's like <laughs> he's, he's in hot pursuit he is seeking out that that doe he don't care nothing about where that hunter is he has got his mind on seeking that doe amen, amen. you say what's well, this got to do with seeking you got everything man I'm talking about you forget about everything else and you put your mind on the Lord. Amen. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Amen. Amen. That young man, when he when he when he meets that girl and he decides that's the girl I need to I need to start seeking. You see, I met her and I decided that's the girl I need to start seeking. And I remember I went to the restroom. I'm coming back and they're leaving. Lisa, her friend, had talked her into leaving. So they're in the elevator. And I'm walking by and I see them in the elevator. And I go, and the doors is closing. And I go, ah! <laughs> I jump in the door. I said, Y'all ain't leaving! <laughs> I wasn't letting her get away, man. <laughs> Amen. I started seeking her. Talking, we're talking about seeking the Lord. Amen. Amen. I started seeking her, buddy. The next day, you know what I did? I went and met her. She went to a rodeo with me. And the next day, you know what I did? I rode a motorcycle down there and picked her up. And we went and met the family. Amen? Three days. And that started it, brother. And 37 years ago, here we are. <coughs> 37 years. I, I mean, I went to seeking her. Four and a half months later, we got married. I knew what I found, what I wanted, and I went after her. Amen? Amen? Don't regret a minute of it. That's the way we got to be and start seeking the Lord. Amen. Nothing else matters. You know, that young man, when he starts when he starts diligently seeking that young lady, he's gonna call, he's gonna he's gonna try to get to see her every opportunity he gets. He's gonna be calling her on the phone. I mean I know it's different nowadays. The girls do all of that, you know, but I'm talking about the way it should be. They had phones like that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You know, uh, he he wants to see her as often as he can. You know, the longer that she and I, it, it, the first week, it was like, man, boy, about the second week, man, I went to bed at night thinking, how long is it going to be before Friday when I can see her? How long is it going to be before Tuesday when I'm in apprentice school and I get to call her? You know, 
I mean, man, I just wanted every waking moment, I wanted to hear her voice. I wanted to be near her. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get to know her more. That's the way we need to be with God. Amen. Every waking moment, we need to be thinking about Him. That's what a diligent seeker is. That's what seeking His kingdom first is. Amen? Yeah. What is what is the seeker? Let's look at let's look at deer hunters. Deer hunters start seeking after deer. They start hunting around the end of June. I mean, season ends May, uh, December, somewhere along in there. You can tell I'm not a big deer hunter. Season ends, and they go about six months, you know, and then June coming, and they start seeking out them deer. They're going out in the woods and putting feeders out. They're going out there and setting stands up, and they're getting ready for that first day of season, man. I mean, that first day, they got, I mean, they're just waiting, excited, anxious, anxious to get out there. And when the first day comes, I mean, they've been hunting. They've been hunting since June. They're diligently seeking after a deer, man. I mean, they every opportunity that they get, JT, he comes in. It, after after a, a hot day of work, and he'll get them kids on that four-wheeler, and, and here they go back there to that stand. He's checking the corn, checking the camera. See, he's seeking a deer, man. He's just after that deer. That's the way a deer hunter is. Then that morning comes, man, and it don't matter if it's 10 below zero snowing. He's getting up at 3, 4, 3, 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, whatever time he needs you to get out there before it's daylight and get in that stand. I'm talking about a diligent deer hunter. A deer hunter that is seeking to kill a deer. I'm going to show you the difference in a minute. <laughs> that deer, he, he's, he's after that deer. Amen. Do you see how he's been... Do you see the comparison? Mm -hmm. And he gets up in that stand and man, he's sitting there and he's waiting and he's waiting and he knows, he knows that there's a deer coming because why? Because he's been seeking that deer and he's been spending time out there. He's been spending time. He knows. He he knows about what time that deer is going to show up. A lot of them do. A lot of them know that deer. They they've been crossing here at eight thirty. You know they're camping nowadays. You know they know that because they got their cameras there and it's showing what time they're coming to the feeder, showing what time they're crossing their trail. And they know all of this. You say, what's this got to do with this? It's got everything to do with. It. See, they know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? Do you know? Do you know when when you can get up and serve God? Do you know? Have you been spending time with Him? Have you been have you been seeking Him out? Have you been just doing everything you can to get in His presence? That's what I'm talking about. See, those guys, they do everything they can in their physical power to know. When that deer is going to be there, so that they can reap the reward. God is the rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. That's what His Word says. See that deer hunter, if, he's, if he is a diligent, diligent deer hunter, he's going to reap a reward of a deer. Are you following me this morning? Let's look at the visitors. What is a visitor? A visitor is a person visiting a person or place or, or, or something especially socially or as a tourist. That's what a visitor is. A visitor is, is something that he's visiting a person. You know, we got visitors today. You know, uh, 
Do we have any visitors? Y'all hand them up. A, 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 a welcome. You, you hear it? But I'm talking about visitors that come every Sunday. The same people. The same people sitting in the same pew. And being a visitor. That's the kind of visitor I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about a visitor that ain't never been here before. I'm not talking about a visitor that, that don't never open the Bible up. I'm talking about a visitor that comes to church every Sunday. But he's not a seeker. He's a visitor. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about, man. A visitor just comes around every now and then. A visitor makes excuses as to why not to go. Well, it's too cold. Well, it's too hot. Well, the roads are so bad to try to get there. Uh, what well, our chairs are too hard. Their music's too loud. Their praise and worship goes too long. I don't like their kind of music. That's a visitor. See, that's the visitors that come every Sunday and sit on the pews. Uh, I'll be glad when it's all. That's a visitor. Boy, they got good coffee here. I'm sure people wish they could get through that praise and worship. You know, I just want to hear the preaching talk, you know. I ain't really into this here praise and worship stuff. You know, they can sing all they want to. I ain't really into that. Is he a seeker or is he a visitor? He's a visitor, man. He ain't, you know, visitors don't get involved. This is good. Visitors want to be served. They don't want, they don't, they don't want to, to, Visitors want to be waited on. They want to be served. They don't want to be. They don't want to be waiting on somebody. Amen. They want to be waited on. They want to come in and somebody take them by the hand and show them where the chair is. You know, or, or you got you you know you you got some visitors that. Are here every Sunday, or not here, but but are at churches every Sunday. And if somebody comes in and, and happens to be sitting in their chair, they gonna get mad, and throw a fit. They ain't worried about whether that fellow he might not be saved and ain't never been in a church before. They gonna get mad. You got my cat. See, if, if it was a seeker, if he was a seeker to seeking God, his righteousness, his way of doing things. He wouldn't have never walked up and said, You got my check. Right. No, he would have walked up and said, How you doing? It's so good to have you here today. Jesus loves you. And you are you 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 just don't know that you fulfilled a, a, a divine appointment by being here today. We're so glad to have you. You see, he's seeking. He's a seeker. He's seeking God's way of doing things because that's the way God would do it. That's the way Jesus would do it. Amen. A visitor or a seeker? I want to be a seeker. Amen. 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 You know, talking about being a, a, a visitor wants to be served, they don't want to be waiting on things. But 
Jeremiah 40, 31 says, They that wait on the Lord, not they that the Lord waits on. Yeah. Hello. Hello. They that wait on the Lord, not they that want the Lord waiting on them. Now let's go back to the deer hunt. But we're going to look at a deer hunter as being a visitor deer hunter. You see, I'm good at talking about a visitor deer hunter because that's the category that I fall in. In the deer hunt. Not in the seek of the Lord, but in the deer hunt. A deer hunter who is a, a visitor deer hunter is like this. The first day of deer season, he gets up, looks out the window. If it's not raining and it's not cold and he slept good and someone hasn't put him in and, and someone... And, he slept good and someone has put him a stand up and been feeding the deer for him and he can ride the four wheeler right up to the stand then he might go deer hunting <laughs> see that's why I said I am a visitor deer hunter because that's me if JT goes and does everything I might go on the first day of season and, and deer hunt but then it goes on. But then you see the comparison of, of that. A visitor. Do you see the comparison? Then he goes and sits in the stand, moves around a lot, coughs a lot, sneezes, <laughs> just not into hunting at all and then gets mad because he just wasted all that time and didn't get nothing. Well, I come to church every Sunday up here and I sit in these pews and I listen to the praise and worship and I, I listen to the preacher. And, you know, every Sunday I come up here, I don't never get nothing. I'm so tired of going up there. I don't never get nothing. Why do you not get nothing? Because you ain't putting nothing in. Amen? Amen? Do you see the difference between a seeker and a visitor? Yeah. Amen. A seeker is going to do everything he can. A seeker is going to be there. Man, want the Lord God. When that song sings, more of you, I want more of you, he's moving in. And it's touching his heart. And he's getting a hold of the hymn of God. He's going to us. See, that's a secret. That's just like that deer hunter started in June seeking that deer. Do you see the comparison? He's diligently seeking the Lord. And he's going to get something out of it. Why? Because he's putting something into it. The hunter who has been hunting since June, he knows where the deer are. He is all into hunting and waiting for the deer to come by. He's going to get something because he's been diligent. The visitor hunter might get something because someone else has done everything for him. Because Mickey and Heather got up and put ten songs together and they prayed and sought the Holy Spirit as to what songs he wanted. And then they put them on. And they, they got up and they 
they prayed for 30 minutes before service so that, that the, the things would be prepared to bring in and usher in the Spirit of God. And the visitor comes in and the Spirit of God's here because somebody else has done something. Amen. And that visitor stumbles in and, 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 and all of a sudden he does get something. You see, sometimes that visitor hunter will go out in the woods and he ain't done a thing. They call it beginner's luck. Right? He'll go out there and, and climb up in the stand and a deer comes staggering out there. Or maybe that buck that's got that doe on his mind comes walking by. And here this guy is coughing and spitting and stumbling and you know. And the, and, and the deer just comes by and he shoots him, you know. And he ain't done nothing to reap the reward of that deer. He just went out there that morning. And you see, when this fella comes in, he don't never do nothing. He comes in and and and, and uh, he, he goes and sits down, you know, and he's 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 just there. You don't know why he came today. You know, and, and all of a sudden the spirit of God goes to moving and whap and hits him. Oh my goodness. And he gets something. He gets a touch from God. He ain't done nothing to, to try to get it himself. You see, you hear me? You, you hear what I'm saying? But every now and then, he'll get something. Yeah. Once he gets something, then it might change and he will start to diligently. I'm talking about the deer hunter. Once he gets that deer, it might change him and he'll start becoming a diligent deer hunter. You know, he's killed hell. Oh, man, I'm not trying to enjoy this. Glory to God, I like this, man. This was awesome when I shot that deer. I want some more of this. Well, the feller gets touched by God. Glory to God, I gotta have more of it, man. He gets something. And it stirs him up. And he starts, man, just every Sunday. I'm going next. I'm gonna be there, brother. I'm going. Because he got something. And he starts becoming, he becomes a, a diligent, he becomes a diligent seeker. But then you have those deer hunters. They go out and kill a deer. But I'm glad I got one, you know, and I ain't wasting my time doing that all the time. He's still a visitor deer hunter. And here's Mr. Visitor Christian. And he gets a touch by God. This happens. I'm telling y'all, this happens. He gets a touch by God. Praise God, it was good. I enjoyed it. And the next Sunday, he's back in that same old room. Oh, man. I'm a big lad for this, bro. Visitor or a seeker? Which are you? Which do you want to be? I don't want to be a seeker. I'm going to be a seeker. I'm seeking God. I want more of Him. Amen. I'm going to do what it takes. I, want, I mean, I want more of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet.